as the Union deviate from their traditional diamond and start Damian Lowe along with center backs Jack Elliott and Jacob Glessness. Meanwhile, Kai Wagner, Nathan Harriel like to get forward. 20-year-old Jack McGlynn is side by side with the all-star Jose Martinez in the midfield. The attacking trio Ua, Gazdag, Carranza have combined for 31 goals. Philadelphia will be looking at a mirror image of their 3-5-2 formation tonight because that's how Pat Noonan lines up Cincinnati. Philadelphia starts over the ball with Daniel Gazdag, who is one of two players in MLS with double-digit goals and assists this year. The other one is only a curious spectator tonight. That's Luciano Acosta suspended. And how will Cincinnati make up for his absence? First, venture into the attack for the Union. A ball intended for Carranza is broken up by FC Cincinnati. To an argument because players will be feeling they've been unfairly treated. Oh, for Gazdag. Able to weave his way through a couple of orange kits. Now played centrally. This is Martinez. Fires go! An absolute laser. Jose Martinez. 1-0 Philadelphia on top. His third MLS goal. All of them this season. long for Gazdok flag will stay down here with Celentano out this ball won't get over the goal line well it's not got over the goal line but the referee he's given the penalty I think the interesting thing is the man who's been perfect in this situation fires again and the Union are up by two Final moments of the first half. Andre Blake. The 32-year-old three-time MLS goalkeeper of the year sees Ismail Elfat end the opening half. It is the Union in control, leading by two. Substitutions employed by Pat Noonan here to start the second half. Ian Murphy has been subbed into the game for Nick Haglin, who was one of the Cincinnati players on a yellow card. And yes, the 27-year-old designated player striker, Aaron Bopenza, does start the second half for Cincinnati. We mentioned his return after competing for Gabon in Africa Cup of Nations qualifying on the year for him. Good touch by Vasquez to send Cincinnati on its way. They square this Bopenza, and right away, Cincinnati answers with Bupenza into the game and FC Cincinnati on the board game on in Philadelphia it's two to one it happens in that but that will be music to Pat Noonan's ears because all of the front three involved wonderful touch from Vasquez the presence of mind from Kubo and then the positioning of Bupenza to make this now game on Ariel Martinez Cananza far side Given away, Bupenzo will collect, able to play this ball across, Vasquez with a touch, and we've got a tie game! FC Cincinnati roars from behind, and we're level at two! His sixth MLS goal this season, and oh, the resiliency of the first place team in the East. Or did you just say, right, we need to shut up shop and I'll just hold my position. Now Lowe steps up, able to win that challenge, fired it off the head of his teammate Gazdag, and a second yellow has come out of the pocket. It's Mascara. He knew what was coming the second he made that challenge. Yerson Mosquera sent off in the 83rd minute and Cincinnati is reduced to 10. Third wheel low, Wagner sends this, top of the 18, cleared out. Vasquez 
Trying to create space, defended by Elliott, and a yellow card out of the pocket of El Fountain. That's a second yellow for Jack Elliott, and he is sent off in the dying moments of the match. Each team is reduced to 10. Let's see, Jack Elliott is pleading his innocence as a defender. What you can't afford to do is let the ball bounce. Skez, and that ball is sent out of the stadium practically off the foot of Wobodo. Dying moments of the match here. We played 98. Perhaps a last chance for the Union now. Hadiel plays that across, but that is all. The final whistle blown by Ismail Elfat and FC Cincinnati on the road battling back from a two goal deficit finishes in a 2-2 draw.